Hi everybody and welcome to another video for Linmob.net. Recently I wrote this post uh, which is a weekly media roundup for the past week and I will try to repeat that on Saturday this week but right now I'm not going to talk about Memo Lester as I recently said but I will go into my points uh, that I would need to have to use this Pine phone as a daily driver. So I haven't really been doing a ton of Pine phone stuff lately because, well, I was pretty busy um, with life and I'm also trying to work on. Uh, the website because I'm going to bring the old posts back and I will retouch them a little bit and I will need to extend Jekyll to have stuff like uh, tags and uh, an archive page so that this makes sense and it's not an endless list of posts that you can't really access. But I will not bore you with that. Uh, instead, I'm just I'm going to show you a little bit about the pine phone that has come about in the past days. And most notably, I'm running Mobian here. Um, I changed the scaling to uh, 2x. The default on Mobian is 1.8, but um, on PureOS and on PostMarket it's 2. And I like 2 better because with 2 scaling set to 2, on the keyboard, you don't have black bars to the side of the screen, so that makes the keys a little bit better, bigger and thus uh, avoids a little bit of mistyping here and there, which is of course very welcome. So that's one tip. Uh, you can see it on the Mobian uh, page. They've mentioned how to change this in the tweaks section, I guess. Aside from that, uh, the biggest Pine phone news of this week is that the camera is now working. This year, by the way, is the password safe, which I managed to set up, and so that I, which was one of my points on my to do list that I absolutely needed. So you can use GNOME password safe. It's sometimes pretty slow to decrypt your passwords. And um, now I can't really show you anything interesting on the camera. Camera, can I? So I post software updates and wait a bit again. I didn't really bother to do anything, but there you can see the camera works, and yeah, it is pretty slow. And um, I'm sure that's going to get better over time. But at least it works, and you can just take a picture like that and then it automatically gets saved to a pictures folder inside your home folder and yeah you can choose a photo or video mode I didn't actually try whether videos work too but let's just see and now the camera helped quit apparently you know it didn't so let's close it because I think it's using a ton of resources and go to the files app. And then here you see pictures folder. Oh. These are the pictures I took and a couple of screenshots using Grim. And when we go back, here's a yeah, there, there seems to be some kind of funny bug which doesn't help me right now. Um, so, videos. Oh. Yeah, that's really annoying. Um, I will just go to the terminal and <laughs> do an LS. At least that looks reliable. So, let's go to. There's a new videos folder apparently. LS and there's a little video with the current date on it uh, so that seems to work now 
What else did I have on my list? Um, encrypted matrix chats. Yeah, I got over with that. I tried uh, the Neko matrix client, but uh, the squeak board keyboard in Mobian uh, doesn't seem to work with any Qt based app. So that was unsuccessful. GPG encrypted e email, I guess the easiest way to pull that off would be using a terminal mail client and integrating it into that. So I don't know, maybe Emacs, which would also solve org mode. But uh, I don't know. Um, that's of course not the, comp the great easy to use solution that one would want. But we've got access to Nextcloud instance checked. So it's, I think it, I at least could add it in normal cons, but I are here and there are my contacts. Um, so yeah, that works too. Um, and yeah, that's none of anybody's business. So the context app works, uh, things with Nextcloud, the calendar is syncing too. Uh, since I set that up, I always have to enter a password to unlock GNOME keyring. Um, yeah, then Abivert, I didn't manage to build it yet with that enable embedded uh, config dot slash configure flag um, maps, no maps works and can do GPS. It sometimes crashes and you can use the scale to fit feature in Mobian so that it looks pretty much okay. Just briefly start it. That takes a while too, but here we go. And as you can see, I'm in Munich. Now I could zoom in, but that sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. By the way, maybe I'll get questions on that, so I'm just gonna mention it. I replaced the original screen protector with one for the iPhone 10s Max or iPhone 11 Pro Max. Uh, those work fine with the pine phone they've got the got they've got a size that well sort of fits and now you see maps locked the phone up so that's not really a great solution yet also it doesn't scale properly the elements are way too small to be usable um, I'm just gonna shut the phone hard off well what I forgot of course is uh, phone functionality um, Mobian works as a phone. I'm not sure whether it's able to receive calls when it's in deep sleep. I've seen rumors on Twitter that this doesn't work yet, but well, you can receive SMS and you can perform calls. They don't sound great, but at least it works. Um, I tested that by calling myself. I didn't want anybody to suffer through some some bad phone experiences maybe while the phone was still on you could see that i have the core bird twitter client installed um that one also works just fine and now it wants me to enter my keyring password and it's terrible dark I guess now it's refusing to lock me in for some reason. That sometimes happens. I don't know whether that's a known bug and also it's getting quite hot right now. So something must be wrong and I should just reboot the Pine phone here. Um, might get wrong a warm due, due to charging it, but yeah. So some functionality works. 
I think it's getting better all the time. Uh, Mobian, by the way, is now officially my favorite distro. Um, I've also used Postmarket, um, and Postmarket has working Nbox, at least sort of. Um, you can't ever, due to scaling issues, you can't ever uh, accident happen, really. Um, and yeah, so, but you can easily install Nbox on Postmarket to try it out. Postmarket has full disk encryption, Mobian doesn't. Um, but I managed to put a second partition that is Lux, Lux encrypted on it, so that would be an option to store sensible data. Of course, you would rather want uh, full disk encryption or at least encrypted home, but I didn't look into that yet because I frankly didn't have the time. And while my Pine phone is now waiting for me to log in again, I'm just gonna leave you here and wish you a great time. And yeah, try latest Mobian builds. You can use the camera with them. UV Ports has published another OTA, which is quite nice. I'm really looking forward to trying Arch Linux and Manjaro, which both support the Pine phone supposedly well. So stay tuned for that. I hope I'll have more time for more videos soon. Bye bye and make sure to check out my blog in mob.net. See you for the next weekly update on Saturday. Bye.